Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Frame Channel. We all know that safe driving is the best defense against road traffic accidents. However, some crashes are simply beyond our control. Especially when it comes to modern cars with the amazing speeds and outstanding overall performance. That is why automakers go to great lengths to make their vehicles as safe as possible. In today's feature, we'll explore the systems and machines applied in crash testing some top-notch cars before they're homologated for use on our roads. Founded in 2009, Croatia headquartered Remets Automobili manufactures high-performance electric hypercars, sports cars, drivetrains, and battery systems. The 1,914 horsepower, $2.4 million Rimitz Nevera had to undergo extensive and expensive testing before its 2021 launch in the US and Europe. The final examination, which took place at Continental's crash test facility in Alzano, Germany, assessed the vehicle's ability to handle a side-on pole collision at 20 miles per hour. Approximately 100 sensors were fitted to the vehicle and crash test dummy. And a series of slow motion cameras were arranged inside and outside the car to capture the collision in minute detail. Once in position at a distance of 130 feet, the Nevera was launched towards a pole by a hydraulically powered cable pulled sludge system. The damage to the car was then assessed and the data collected from the dummy was analyzed. As part of the Nevera's front crash tests, Rimets conducted head-on collisions with an offset deformable barrier at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. Rimets performed a total of 45 crash tests on the Nevera using 10 different cars, prototypes, and pre-series. A single car is sometimes used for multiple tests, beginning with the light crashes and gradually increasing the severity until the car is beyond use. You have first some material testing to, to get a good material correlation. Then you're going on the part testing, some low speed, some high speed parts testing. And then with all of this correlation, you have the full vehicle in a simulation and you have to correlate that with the real, real test. These tests enabled the manufacturer to optimize the calibration of its safety restraints and airbags, thus mitigating occupant impacts within the vehicle. These extreme tests also enable companies to analyze each car model's exact structural integrity before they are approved for use by customers. Of course, testing would be pointless without the human component, which is why establishments such as the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, or IIHS, use state-of-the-art crash test dummies to assess whether vehicles are safe for use on U.S. roads. It's fascinating that we can take the technology that we have and place it in a vehicle and send the vehicle into a barrier and afterwards take that data given to us by a freshly calibrated dummy and use that data as one of the tools to determine what would happen to a human if he were sitting in the dummy's place. The IIHS has frontal, side, and rear impact dummies of various sizes, ranging from six-month-old children all the way up to 95th percentile males. The organization conducts a range of calibration checks on the dummies, including head drops, thorax impacts, knee impacts, and rear impacts. 20 to 40 different sensors are fitted to each dummy, including accelerometers, load cells, and rib-mounted potentiometers. All these complex phases and components of the test, coupled with its overall importance, have contributed to making these dummies very expensive. Apart from using real cars and crash poles and dummies, computer simulation software also enables automakers to analyze accidents in a range of scenarios that simply wouldn't be possible using physical crash testing equipment. In addition to reducing costs associated with real-world destructive testing, this technology enables manufacturers to fine-tune the minute details of each simulated accident. To supplement its physical crash tests, Texas-based Tesla Automotive Company collects data from more than a million of its cars to continuously monitor and enhance safety. 
The company says that having access to this wealth of real-world information enables it to develop safety measures that go far beyond what is legally required. By constantly comparing computerized outcomes with data obtained through physical tests, the manufacturer has succeeded in achieving around 98% correlation between its simulations and real-world conditions. Encouragingly, the introduction of more stringent crash testing has enabled improved real-world performance, according to research from the European New Car Assessment Program, or Euro NCAP. The organization found that the risk of permanent medical impairment, or PMI, was around 73% lower in cars released between 2015 and 2018 than was the case for models launched between 1980 and 1984. As both car safety technology and testing requirements continue to improve, this level of risk looks set to drop even further in the future. Ensuring driver and passenger safety is one thing, but what about protecting pedestrians from out-of-control vehicles? Italian company FAAC produces a range of retractable security blockades that have been tested to the most exacting standards. Its J355 Bullard, for instance, is capable of halting a 7-ton vehicle traveling at 30 miles per hour with a penetration distance of just around 3 feet. If you're looking for a system that's even more robust, you might want to check out the 9-feet-wide HD200 wedge barricade from US-based Delta Scientific, which can stop a 15-ton vehicle traveling at around 30 miles per hour with zero penetration. These are just two of the many manufacturers that specialize in the development of super strong safety systems that can stop cars, vans, and even trucks in their tracks when they get out of control. However, highway safety systems are still undergoing dramatic improvements worldwide. One of the most recent innovations is the roller barrier, which is capable of absorbing enough shock to help even the heaviest vehicles come to a safe and controlled stop in the event of a crash. Rather than allow cars and trucks to break through the barrier or ricochet back into traffic, the rollers are designed to keep the car out of harm's way. This ensures maximum safety for the passengers and other vehicles on the road. Due to the growing need for more innovative road safety systems worldwide, the global crash barrier systems market has been experiencing a very impressive leap. Evaluated at $7.8 billion in 2020, it is expected to reach $11.8 billion by 2030, thereby registering a remarkable compound annual growth rate of almost 4.2% during that period. That's the end of this feature on The Frame. I hope you enjoyed it! Make sure to subscribe to this channel to catch us on our next video. See you next time!